Hi, I'm Sasha from Costigan Hills Real Estate. We're here at 55 Buckley Avenue, Fairwater, Blacktown. We're doing something that I believe most agents won't do, which is visit the property a couple of weeks after the sale. The new owners are inside. We're just gonna knock on their door and see what they have to say. The previous owner is on his way, so let's see what they have to say. Matt, David, Tata. how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you guys again. You like we, can't, we can't shake hands because of this COVID business, but I'm um, uh, sorry to bother you guys. It's actually a Sunday, and come, come forward, come forward. It's really good to see you. Likewise, likewise. And we caught Matt and uh, David last minute, and we just want them to say a couple words. Yeah, so. so how was your experience, mate? Uh, Costigan Hills Real Estate. So mm -hmm. our experience, so we just purchased this place, our experience A couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Two couple of yeah. weeks. Two weeks ago weeks. you guys settled and you yeah. went through a lot of difficulty. It was a really, really challenging time. So we had yeah. a few issues with the bank. Uh, we signed the contracts right before COVID and lockdown. Uh, so it was an interesting and yeah. stressful time, some bank delays, <laughs> but uh, this... Yeah. Uh, two weeks delay. So. Two weeks delay with yeah. settlement, but uh, due to a bank problem, but all was resolved and Sasha was fantastic throughout the process. He helped uh, keep us calm as we navigated issues with the bank and um, things were resolved and settled and we couldn't be happier. And another thing that I noticed was on a Sunday, you were here, I remember. Sunday. It yeah. was a Sunday. <laughs> and when you called me, I said, I'm planning a trip to the beach with my family. Yep. And we were struggling to get a hold of the owner and you guys actually hung around the end the area for about an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. Until we could find the owner to show you the property. Yeah. And, um, uh, would you think other agents would have done that for you? Uh, probably not. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but you know what, it made the sale because yeah, um, the sale, yeah. we, we because kind we of... We sort of changed our plan because we were initially going with an off plan. I know, then that's what I picked up on we, the phone. Yeah, yeah. You did say that actually, yeah. you said you're looking at one we of were the new ones a, with, yeah, we with were, the sales office here. We were, yeah. yeah, we were looking at a different property and, and just yeah. by chance we saw yeah. the sign on the road yeah. and uh, literally stopped in the middle of the road after seeing the sign and uh, dialed the number on the sign and was connected through to Sasha and we saw the house about an hour later on a Sunday afternoon yep. and um, what we signed contracts probably a week after that. It was about a week with so, the solicitors checking things and back and forth. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. It, was a, it was a quick process and I think the universe kind of delivered yeah. because it was literally <laughs> just the sign that we uh, you know, saw on the road and it stopped, uh, sort of changed our plans but and here we are. I think if we went ahead with the off plan, we probably, probably wouldn't have gone ahead you wouldn't have gone ahead. Probably, if okay. with would the have been situation a... now. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, it's been a pleasure. It's been about a two week, three week period since the property settled. As I said in the intro, usually you don't get agents visiting the buyers. In fact, some agents would knock on the door and run away. Yeah. But um, obviously, you guys, we're very happy to see you and I hope this relationship continues. Likewise. And um, it's been an absolute pleasure. So again, we can't Likewise, shake your hands. Likewise, thanks for those uh, 8 p.m. chats. <laughs> it the, has been, uh, yeah, I, I could not process. catch you during the day. It was always late at night with poor uh, reception. It worked for our time. It worked for us and it, yeah. it, it uh, hopefully worked for It's you. been a pleasure. And we've been waiting for the owner to arrive back at what used to be his house for a couple of years. And he just looks like he's coming towards us. There is the owner. We just were talking to your buyers previously inside and um, you missed them. So um, uh, they went back in, they had a couple of things to do. And um, look, one of the reasons we called you back here to see what your experience was. And um, uh, obviously we went through a bit of a hard time when COVID was at its peak and we discussed that with the buyers already. But um, uh, how were you feeling about the sale at that time? I think Initially, uh, before you took over the reign of the sale of my house, yep. we were actually had it, we had it pretty tough for, for a good seven months in the... It was about seven months on the seven market. Months, with, seven we months. won't name the agency, but yeah, it was yeah. on the market with another seven, agency. Seven months, yeah. seven months yeah. in the market, and then having open homes every week. We've yeah. got a small child yeah. and getting out of the house, getting it ready for open yeah. home, facilitating that every week was very tiring for us. And then yeah. uh, we ended up getting really tired after seven months and then yeah but at the same time we wanted to upgrade to a bigger home because my family is expanding I'm having my, my siblings coming over so 
and then my father-in-law he gave me your name because I know you sold my father's yeah, property your dad's as well. place in Quakers Hill yes, we sold yes. yeah that so, was a couple of years before we came yeah, to um, exactly. uh, contact and meeting each other yeah so yeah. I think but luckily uh, my father-in-law got me in touch with you and after we had the chat Thank we you. had a couple of Thank weeks you. to think about it and I said look it's been in the market for a long time usually if it's if a house is in the market for a long time yeah you don't we expect good that. value but uh, what happened mate? I think we sold it in five days I think what happened was we I know you I remember I spoke to you in the morning you were yeah. going to the beach and yeah. I was going to attend a birthday party to a beach area as well no you weren't you took your son to a haircut salon or something oh, like that you, oh, it was the and I couldn't day. get a oh, hold of okay, you okay, okay that's right, that's right. <laughs> so you, you kept calling me you kept calling me yes and this I'm, is a case of an agent trying to get a hold of an owner <laughs> saying I've oh, got a really yeah, good yeah, buyer yeah. and the owner is not responding yeah because <laughs> I remember you just put the sign in yeah. you did not even schedule any open home exactly anything. you literally had someone come and put the sign yes very brand new sign yeah. new listing and I went to, took my son for a haircut and he yep. kept calling me and you're like <laughs> you were not responding and I was like I was like come on it's not open home yet give me a yeah, break yeah. you brought someone in and I was like okay let's see fingers crossed what happens and I, I think you called me on the end of the day I think not even that you called me at 8 p.m. like in the evening it was and late, you're like yeah. you're like I've got an offer yep. and I was like really like someone just came in today and I've got an offer okay that's that's good news I'm like, okay, let's yeah, see. Yeah, I actually forgotten about that. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah. let's see, let's see yeah. how that goes because in the yeah. past I've got lots of offers as well, but yeah. they never went on second stage, just yes. offer and then goodbye. Yeah. Uh, so, and then I know we discussed your expectation. You asked me about my price expectation, and I ended up you getting me. You ended up getting me more than what I expected, which is a it was bonus. More, it was more was, than the asking price. Which, which was, it was more bonus, than the asking uh, price. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. So happy. Yeah, I think very happy and uh, I think I wanted to thank you and Colin from Costigan. We thank you mate, because, we thank you for the opportunity, yeah. we thank you for presenting the house and allowing yeah. the entry even on a Sunday and um, it's one of those rare occasions um, not in the sense that we got above the asking price but in the sense that we have a really good buyer, a really good seller, the house was a perfect match they're really happy yeah. as they just came out and had a chat and with yourself we appreciate you coming on a Sunday again yeah. so everything seems to be happening on a yeah. Sunday on a Sunday again, back to this house, just to do, um, to say a few words. And um, uh, it means a lot to us. And we hope that, you know, in your next venture in life, you do well. And uh, if you come to Seoul, we'll be happy to assist in that regard too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just want to say, like, totally agree with you. It's been a pleasure working with you. And I think it's been a positive experience for Likewise, you and Likewise. me and it's the new, new buyers as it's well. It's been a pleasure. And, and if it wasn't COVID, mate, I'll give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> On that point, I yeah. thank you, and um, uh, and I hope that everything goes well in the in the future for you and your family. Thank you very much, and Thanks. I wish you guys all the best. And Thanks we'll, very much. We'll be in touch for future interviews. Likewise.